hi everyone welcome to my channel here we are again um thank you for tuning in today we're going to do a makeup tutorial um focusing a little bit more on how to apply eyeshadow now i've said this like a couple of times on my channel and that is um you want to buy yourself a, a like what do they call it the brush companies usually call it the essential eye kit which would involve about five brushes um, those brushes are essentially what you need in order to have a complete eyeshadow look so I said let me just go ahead and film that for you guys today um, I'm, I have all my stuff to the side so because um, I wanted to be a little bit closer just in case I need to be in more so you guys can see um, I want to start with something that I've always told you guys is very important and that is your skin um, I'm gonna start with this elf eye cream um, this is my second purchase and I like it because it feels soothing so it has no scent to it which is another thing that I appreciate and it moisturizes my under eye doesn't do much other than that so it's just an eye cream you want an eye cream because you want to make sure that your concealer um doesn't dry up on you during the day so this just helps the overall flawless look underneath your eyes so you just want, always want to start with that and then we have the kiehl's ultra facial face cream um that i'm going to use just to give my face an extra moisturize i mean like extra moisturizer so what i use every day though is the CeraVe, um and then on top because now we're in the spring months and the sun is popping up more i'll use the olay moisturizing cream with spf i believe it's 15 so or 25 i don't know so um our face is nice and prepped we are going to go in with a primer that I kind of showed off quickly when I was doing the video with my daughter. But it is the Becca. Um, First Light primary, Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. It's a hydrating primer. It does wonders for me and, and ever since I had um, the trial size or the mini size I wanted the full size so you know when Ulta had the 21 days of spring sale I bought this primer for $19 and its regular price is um, 38 so I saved money so I want to prep our skin it's feeling really nice I feel good now we're gonna go in with the Dr. Brandt pores no more luminizer this is what I do every single day. I do this routine every single day that I apply makeup. Um, which is, like I've said before to you guys, it's usually for work. Like, that's when I will put makeup on. Because of where I work and what I do, I want to make sure that I look professional. And most importantly, put together... That's like the number one thing for me, looking put together, um, looking awake and clean and professional. So that's for my pores. It works and all these products together make my skin look flawless underneath the foundation and everything else that I put on my face. So today we're going to use the, um, what is it, the Color Stay from Maybelline pump and it was kind of reminding me of the radiant foundation from um, NARS that I bought but there's a difference because with that foundation with the NARS one it kind of feels velvety there's something about the consistency um, so it's not like this formula wise but it has just as much coverage I feel like this one has um, the exact shade that I am um the NARS has a little bit less of the yellow that this one has so as you can tell
This one has amazing coverage. I'm sorry, this, that's my um, jacket making noise. So I am using the viewfinder as a mirror. So as you can tell, the coverage is insane. It took care of all my redness with just one full pump. And I was using this foundation for a couple days last week. I feel like foundation, like what made me stay away from full coverage foundations for a long time was the fact that I felt or I had this thought that the full coverage foundations are clog pouring or they will make you break out or have a bunch of bumps all over the place. But in reality, that's not the case. I mean, you have to just know your skin because there's some drugstore foundations that have done horrible stuff to my face. So it's kind of a balance. Um, I have been using the Tarte Shape Tape. I know I told you guys that I wasn't, but there is a story behind this purchase. Um, I was watching a um, video a live video of a makeup artist that I have a lot of respect for and she was applying this and I was seeing it being done live and I told her or I asked her hey is that cakey is it drying does it go into your um, lines or something a question kind of like that and she told me no she said it's great it lasts me all day it's full coverage and you should buy it you won't regret it so I bought it because I went by what she said. I believed in her word and I've been using it behind your back guys for about two weeks now. And I wanna say I've tried every um, possible way you can try this. I've tried using a little bit, I've tried using this much and for me and my dark circles, this is the best way um, and um, the first week was hard because I felt like it would cake up on me, but it's just that I have to use a light hand when it comes to setting this. So when I set this, I go light. I have noticed a big difference from using this. It's not like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is very light, but I feel like it is more moisturizing than this concealer. Um, and you could still notice a lot of darkness under my eyes with the Maybelline. And with this one, it's it you can't see anything. So coverage is real and amazing so if you can go ahead and purchase it you won't regret it um i think that if you're like me that doesn't use makeup every day well i use makeup every day but if you're like me i mean instead of buying like fit, maybelline fit me concealer every three weeks just go out and buy this one and it'll last you a whole month. So you're kind of spending the same amount of money but buying more and more frequently. So it does brighten your under like your under eyes but I'm not into the brightening, but 
it looks really pretty. It really does. Um, even though it's light medium, which is what I usually use or what I would use in the Fit Me one. It's it's not brightening, but it will bright brighten up. So, highly recommend it when you um, go out to Ulta again this week or soon. You need to go get it. All right, so on my face, I don't use any powder um, except on my forehead because I have an oily forehead, an oily T-zone. Now on my nose, I've been noticing that I'll get powdery because, you know, with this climate change, oh, at the end is when I go in and I do my brows. Um, I used to do it the other way around, but this is the way I've been doing it for months now, and it's been working for me. So I'm just going to go a little bit closer. And I have been letting my brows grow. I'm liking that thick vibe. this one it's one that came from boxycharm I think this was last month and I've been using this shade right here Let's see. to set my whole eye and I've been using this fluffy brush from Sigma definitely worth your money so um let's see we'll go into that shade one more time and just set everything and make sure everything is now i want to show you my palette this week while using it i accidentally had my mascara um over these two colors but if you look at them, they are absolutely gorgeous colors. And so I've been using um, that shade in there all week. And I've been bouncing around different palettes. Today, I feel like I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance. Uh, so I think I'm going to go, because of my colors, i probably go into Golden Ochre today. That one right there. And... I'm going to use the Morphe M433 brush. And I'm going to try to keep this simple because I know I told you guys I would. We're going to go above the crease. Do it again. So I bought new brushes from um, BH Cosmetics and they have been giving me life. I mean like they're transforming my whole eyeshadow look and this is one, this is a number six brush from BH Cosmetics. I love them. So I'm going to go in and I think we're going to go in with the warm taupe. I haven't used this color as much. So we're just going to go in.
I think I'm going to do the Bra Sienna. And take another BH Cosmetic brush. We're going to go into Cypress Umber. Cypress Umber again on the other eye. This type of brush is the type that you want to use when applying shimmer shades and you don't want to look crazy. Um, I just fix this right here. Um, I, like using, I like using these because it packs just the right amount of um, shimmer but it doesn't overpower everything and it doesn't cause it too much attention especially because like i said when i use makeup it is for work so i think i'm gonna go in with because i haven't used it on my channel yet with you guys the number eight brush from it cosmetics or bh cosmetics and we're gonna go into the violet voss palette and i'm gonna use um this gold this golden shade um, Alliance. I'm going to use that. creases I'm just not into that yet or not that I'm not into it I just haven't tried it can you believe it I haven't even tried it I have not tried the cut crease on myself after we're done there we're gonna grab a brush a brush we're gonna go into I'm gonna go into raw sienna. So we're just gonna do like a mashup of colors.
was simple. I don't think I used too much. Um, we're going to go in with raw sienna. I'm just going to add a little bit more right here. So I want to like smoke it out a bit. To this palette by Violet Voss, like a Voss palette. And I'm going to go up here. I'm just going to add a little bit of that shade. And we're going to pick up the shade. With the Luxie brush, and this Luxie brush is the 207. I've been using the Essence Lash, oh my gosh, the words kind of came out. So we're going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette or Contour Kit and I've been using this guy right here, the Sonia Kashuk, Kushik brush in 100, dipping my brush into these two shades because this one's too red, like it has a reddish undertone. Or it's not a reddish, it's more warmer. So Now on to the lips. I have been really into, why do I keep kicking my leg? I have been really into trying lipsticks and like everything else that I have done, I start from the cheapest and I move my way up. Now in the past I have used Milani, the matte Innocence and um, there's always another one that um, I always forget the name of but there were two nude colors that I used um, that were really pretty, really matte and a little bit drying but they were really nice and I used them up and I stopped using lipstick altogether. Um, the price is like seven dollars. I'm gonna six ninety nine at the drugstore. But I started picking up lipsticks again and um, I have a few here. This is not gonna go good. What do you think? Should we go for it? We should. I think it went pretty well so these are from wet and wild and this is blind date different I've been I haven't used it yet so I have used it with you guys first which is exciting we're gonna go ahead and set everything with the elf um, spray ready
Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you for the new support. I've got a couple new subscribers and I'm excited about that. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, request down below um, any videos that you want to see me do. Um, I take all your suggestions seriously and if they sound tempting, we're tuning in. See ya when I see ya.